we are going to show how to create a binary in Common Lisp. We will also discuss a common critique about the resulting executable size. You have just written your Common Lisp program and you want to be able to distribute it as an executable. The easiest way to create an executable with SVCL is using buildup. We can follow the installation on the official site. We download the file and extract it. We have to run the command as root because it will also install it. We can see that now the program is installed. The program we want to build the executable of is grid.lisp. We can see this is a really simple file with just a function main inside the green package that prints a string on the screen. The string is high concatenated with an argument. The function executed in the usual Unix style, the main function, takes as input a list in which the first argument is the name of the program while the others are the common line arguments. In this example, the main just takes as input the name of the user and greet him. Let's run buildup. Buildup takes as arguments the name of the resulting executable, the file we have to load, and what is the function we want to run when the file is executed. We can now try to run the program and we can see that it works. Instead of this simple format, there could be anything. For example, we could start an ancient tooth server or run any program. A common critique to the resulting executable is its size. We can see that my app does basically nothing. It just prints a string on the screen. But if we look at the size of the executable, it's 34 megabytes. But is this really a problem? If we were on an embedding system, maybe yes. But if we are on a server, surely not. On a personal computer, it depends. But often it's not such a big deal. Nevertheless, now we present some ways of dealing with this issue. The first proposal is to use another common Lisp implementation. SBCL is not the only one. It offers great performance and currently is really well supported, but it's really not the only one. If one really wants to go minimal, there is ECL which runs in a couple of megabytes, but the startup is lower, the execution in general is lower, and there is less support. An alternative could be CCL, which doesn't offer the same performance of SBCL, but it is often preferred during development time for its compilation speed and debugging facilities. Moreover, the final binary is often smaller. Let's try to build it. We have to compile build up again, this time using CCL. And now we can build the app again. We can see that now the executable is 8 megabytes smaller. From 34 we went down to 26. The main reason why the executable is so big is that it contains the Lisp runtime. Buildup lets us generate a binary which contains multiple programs that share the same runtime. Basically, the result is that we get two executables with the space of one. Let's see how it works. We have always our grid.lisp, but now we have also saluta.lisp. Instead of saying I, it writes ciao which is the Italian way of greeting. The goal is to build one executable which contains both greeting and saluta. The syntax is mostly the same. We always have to specify the output name, then we load the first file, and this time we use this page entry in which we pass 
the name of the package and the function we want to run. In front of the slash there is nothing, which means that this is the default entry. Then we load Saluta and we specify another dispatched entry. This time the name of the dispatch is Saluta and we want to run the function main inside the package Saluta. Let's run it. If we run our program as before, we can see that nothing has changed. To run the other file, we have to change the name of our application from my app to Saluta, which was the name of the dispatcher. A common way is to use symbolic links. We create a symbolic link named Saluta to my app. And now we run Saluta. We can see that the execution has changed. From I, now it writes Ciao and the size of the final executable is always 26 because we've used again CCL. I think that the previous alternatives can work for most situations. If you are here still in doubt, is common list the best choice for the current problem? There are many other lists. Maybe the solution is outside the common list standard. A last alternative I propose here is, in the scheme word, Gambit. It compiles directly to C and is known for performance and minimalist executable. Common Lisp was not thought to be run as an executable. The idea of Common Lisp is an interactive environment that you start at the beginning and you stop when you shut down your computer. Nevertheless, there are many ways to get an executable with a reasonable file size and good performance.